Ian, mm -hmm. does Evan Gershkovich now just become the latest individual person that has to be in the crosshairs of Moscow, Washington, and they're just very much so depleted, terrible relationship at this moment? Yeah, I was talking to someone today who referred to this as a dark turn, and I think um, they also pointed out that this is coming after a bunch of Russian intelligence agents were rounded up across Europe. There's been, uh, you know, the Brazilian grad student, uh, you know, who was who was in the U.S. Um, there's uh, not much. They uh, some people feel that Russia has to trade back, and so right now you're seeing Russia engage in what very much looks like. The same kind of hostage diplomacy uh, that that ensnared Brittany Griner, uh, you know, and others. So I think people are expecting this to be a little bit protracted. The details here, in terms of uh, the way the, uh, the Russian intelligence has treated the case, the way he hasn't been allowed uh, access to his lawyer in court, there's a lot of details that are very, very concerning to U.S. officials here. So I think uh, everyone's treating this very seriously. They're being relatively cautious. Russia has not responded yet. So I think there's still a little bit of uh, hesitation at the moment to, for U.S. officials to be so, uh, you know, uh, to condemn Russia overly harshly at the moment because they really do, they, they don't really know what's going to come out of this in terms of Russia.